Stopping Medical Tourism as I welcome you to today's edition of the program. My name is Joseph Card. You know that this program is packaged to tell you that Nigeria has got it, has got what it takes to take care of any kind of ailment, uh, be it knee surgery, brain surgery, uh, spine surgery, uh, kidney transplant, just whatever it is, Nigeria has got the skills, the manpower to do all of that. And most time, it's now gradually becoming a hub, uh, you know, in the sub-Saharan Africa where people just fly in and have themselves uh, treated. And so why do you need to travel abroad? And this is the crux of the, of the program. And today we'll be looking at lower back pain. You know that pain you feel down there, down there, it's very, very terrible. And many people, most time you see them taking different uh, medications. Some even go herbal. Some take different kind of mixture. Hey, you are doing yourself uh, damage. All you need to do is to stay to this discussion. And of course, uh, the causes, prevention, and of course, treatment for those that have severe lower back pain will be discussed here on this program through the eyes of a consultant orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Amodu. Very good morning to you and you're welcome. Thank you very much. Good morning, sir. Yeah, so good morning, you are sir. the expert. Tell us what lower back pain is. Uh, the lower part of the back mm. is that part that extends um, from the edge or the lower end of the ribs. You know, the, on the chest contains ribs and ends at T12. We call it thoracic 12. T12. T12. That is the, the, the 12th thoracic vertebra. And um, from that region down to the sacroiliac joint, that is where the lumbar mm. joins with the sacrum. Mm. Again, I'm going to say some of these anatomical mm. words. This is technical. Te technical <laughs> words. Uh, thank you. Uh, for uh, that, uh, I would like to break it down, break it down as much as possible. Yes. Um, so, uh, pain within this region is described as a lower back pain from the level of the T12 to the sacroiliac joint. Um, now, pain, this pain could arise from uh, a mechanical origin, that is to say, from structures that constitute this um, region, which is the, you know, could be, okay, let me start from inside out the vertebra itself, which is the vertebral bones. Um, the, this vertebral bone, uh, I'm sorry, I should have come with a model mm. for proper yeah. demonstration. Yes. This vertebral bone is, is, is surrounded by muscles, uh, ligaments, um, tendons. Nerves travel through these bones. Uh, and then, of course, the spinal cord is also within that region. So any of these structures could be affected and could be responsible for the pain. Again, we must also understand that um, the non-organic or non-mechanical pain, the causes of pain, which is also known as organic pain, will be structures within the abdomen, you know, can be inflamed and transfer pain, we call, we call it referred pain, to that region. So when a patient comes with lower back pain, you broaden your mind and prepare to tackle this uh, pain based on these um, causes I've tried to describe. Yeah, you can go on. Okay, now, um, now the mechanic. No, y y y okay, fine. This um, the causes. You know, a, a pain can be f particularly from the adolescent um, to the elderly. Common, common, commonly seen in the elderly individuals. Yeah, from what age? Okay, lower back pain, as I said, can uh, happen to the adolescents, the older age, but commonly from age of forty and above. Uh, the tend to present more with, um, uh, with lower back pain. So um, the... What is the major cause? Is it lifestyle? Is it age? Is, uh -huh. it, is it the way somebody sleeps or somebody sits? You know, is it the, the, the kind of mattress people use? You know, I know there are different kinds of mattress, the orthopedic, semi orthopedic and yes. just the normal one. Uh, what really uh, is the cause? Is it too much of sugar? They tell you it's too much of sugar. And somebody says, I don't even take sugar. Okay. For the past 15, 20 years, I don't even take sugar. So uh, why would you say sugar? Mm. So what really is the, is the cause? Okay, the, 
as I said, any of these structures can be mm. affected. Mm. Now, the lower back pain itself can arise from some risk factors, as you are mm. trying to list now. Mm. Uh, those that sit too long, uh, like the long distance drivers, um, those that sit too long in the offices in the younger, younger age groups, um, those that do activities that strain their backs, these are potential causes of this condition. However, as I said earlier, others, you know, the, as we grow older, the, the vertebrae, between each vertebra, a vertebrae is a disc. We call it intervertebral disc. This disc is largely made of water. 80% uh, is water, then there are cells, and then covered by uh, tissue we call the annular fibrosis. So this nu the nucleus, inside the, this is a nucleus. Mm. So as we grow older, the, we tend to lose this water gradually. And when that happens, the gap between the two bones begin to get closer. And then there are nerves that travel. It's very unfortunate I forgot to come with my modem. Mm. There are nerves that travel down the, the back to supply the lower extremities. Mm. So those nerves can be trapped when this joint, the facet joint, comes very close to each other. And when that happens, it causes irritation, inflammation, and transfer pains there. So that's one. Is that, is that, is that why at times uh, you just feel like something just pull out of that part of the body? Yes, because of the pressure mm. on the nerves. Mm. Pressure on the nerves transmits message from the back down to the lower limb where the nerve supplies. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the pressure, the problem is something in your back, quite all right. Mm -hmm. But the symptoms you begin to feel will be maybe on your thigh, on your knee, and sometimes even on your feet. So people will come complain of knee pain, complain of hip pain. But the primary problem was primary actually pressure on I the nerves on the, on the back. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is one cause. Sometimes sporting activities, Okay, and now that's almost quickly. Now we are talking about causes. Now, mm. now apart from the structural uh, causes that is strained on mm. these structures I've mentioned, mm. there are times the pain, as I said, may be referred back, or disease in the other part of the body may present as um, I mean, may 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 may, may send messages to the back and present as pain. Let me quickly list these diseases for us mm. to know. Now, and we call it, once patient comes, we must rule out this, we call it red flags. Now, um, if, for instance, there is, um, uh, what do you call, a, 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 there's, tra okay, now, causes can come from trauma. If the pain arises from a fall, of course, we think of trauma as a cause of pain. If pain arises, if patient complain of, uh, okay, in the elderly, for instance, uh, with potential, uh, in, in the male, we think of prosthetic diseases like prosthetic cancer can metastasize to the, to the back and present as low back pain. Um, some in the female, we talk, think about breast cancers and all that. Now, infection is also a possible cause of this pain. Infection could be from bacteria, or, um, other bacteria apart from tuberculosis, can also be from tuberculosis, can present as uh, back pain. Um, now, there is what we call uh, uh, caudal equine syndrome. You know, as the, as the spinal cord terminates, the other nerves continue without the head. So there could be compression on these nerves. So patient will present, of inab present with inability to mm. control urine or feces. Mm. You know, these are red flags and uh, we must investigate for that. So, so, uh, so back pain can cause uh, pain on the feet, on the knees? Yes. Back pain can uh, cause difficulty in someone uh, passing out urine? No, the loss of control of urine. Loss of control? Of the person will be... Yes, he cannot control his bladder any longer. That's back pain? Yes, when, when the, there's compression on the nerves mm. that control the bladder and the rectum. Mm. So we call it uh, uh, cauda equine syndrome. Mm. Okay. So these are causes for... So tell us about the treatment now. Uh, before we treat, we must get, we must, we must know the cause. Yes. So we must, apart from, we then we must investigate to get to the cause, uh, mm. to get to the treatment. Mm. Now, uh, investigations, particularly when they come with red flags, uh, we have to do some basic investigations like um, X-rays, mm. back X-rays to to 
the X-ray will, and, uh, will show you the bone quite right. Mm. But there are other structures I have mentioned. But, but, but I know that this X-ray machine uh, is in categories. There's a high tech that can just go straight and say this is what, what the issue is. Okay, I now, know it's one of the reasons why people are traveling abroad. Yeah, okay, have fine. you got yeah, such yeah. kind of uh, yeah, of, course, uh, of course, the, the X-rays will show the bones, but it won't show the, the nerves, the cord, spinal cord, the muscles I've mentioned. So when the X-rays are not, it's not true information. Informative, sorry. You move to the next level, which is the MRI, the magnetic resonant uh, imaging. Uh, the MRI should uh, delineate these structures perfectly, and um, you can tell what exactly is the cause of pain. Mm -hmm. Is it nerve compression? Is it cord compression? Is it facet joint atropathy? You know, and all other main things I've mentioned. Is it a metastasis from a distance, uh, cancer, and all that? So. Now, you, if, 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 with the MRI, most diagnosing in about over 90% of cases, you have a diagnosis with the aid of an MRI. In some individual that for one reason or the other cannot do MRI, mm. the CT scan may be of her, particularly uh, enhanced CT scan with gadolinium. So th th these are the investigation of choice you do. If you are thinking of infection, you want to confirm infection by doing full blood count, uh, ESR and uh, uh, C-reactive C proteins mm. and all that. Now, you've made a diagnosis. Mm. How do you treat it? This is very interesting, honestly, yes. that we really need to have, um, uh, you know, this thing diagnosed scientifically and then ascertain the actual cause yes. before treatment commences. That's, that's basically, yeah. Mm. Now, now you've, you've made a diagnosis. Mm. How do you treat? Uh, let's now start treatment we now based on the, is now based on the cause. If it's due to strain, let's start with the most mildest of the situation back strain from your activities, the way you position yourself, the back is strained, the muscles are aching, the spasms of the muscles of the back. Uh, all you need to do is to change your activity, we call it activity modification. You change the way you sit, you avoid those activities that provoke the spasms and all that. And then with the aid of some analgesics and muscle relaxant, that may be it. Uh, then if it's due to cord compression, or let, let me start with the nerve compression, Okay, I told you the cord compression, that is the cordial equinase syndrome, it's an emergency. Mm. That one, you have to quickly go and decompress. The longer you wait, the poorer the prognosis. Because apart from the fact that patient has lost control of bladder and, and, uh, and, and rectum, there will be weakness of the lower limbs. Some may go paralyzed. Mm. So and the longer you it can wait, lead to that. Yes, can lead to paralysis. So the longer you wait, the poorer the prognosis. Even when you now eventually decide to do surgery and decompress, the, the havoc must, may have been done by them. So that's an emergency. But in the mildest type of it, sprain, you rest your back, you take analgesics, take muscle relaxants, you'll be fine. Then you continue, you avoid activities that will provoke it. Mm. Now, if it's due to uh, cord compression, now you, uh, no, uh, nerve compression, um, now you must, again, depend on the degree of compression. That will be outlined on the MRI. Mm. You want to decompress. So there are some decompressive surgery. No, uh, uh, okay, there are some decompressive surgery you could do to free the nerve, and uh, the, the pain may be sorted out. Now, um, if it's due to metastasis to the bone from a, a cancer, for instance, uh, radiation, that is uh, radiotherapy, may help control the pain. Mm -hmm. While you tackle the main cause, which is the cancer itself. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, in the male prostatic cancer, in the female, the, the multiple myeloma, these are the causes of spread of cancer to the bone. Um, what other cause did I mention now? Now, positioning. Mm. Now, in those that the, co the cause is due to the way they sat in too long in the office, mm. we advise them, don't sit too long. If you must sit, you sit down with your back straight. Can you demonstrate for me? Well, your boot on here, that's you must always sit. Without, sit with, without slanting, okay. without bending, only okay. sit up. Sit up. By sitting up, you remove. And then my, my back will relax. It relax. And then it must be arm like this. Something like that. Mm. So it, it, it takes pressure off the back, and then the, the irritation of the nerves will be decreased. Now, in those that don't have, you know, when you sleep, we expect by the time you wake up, your mattress should remain as flat as it were before you lie on it. So if you sleep on a mattress that depresses when you wake up. You may have to change it. Change or look for a better mattress that remains flat. Just the way I'm playing. That's orthopedic mattress. Preferably. Orthopedic mattresses. But so it's not comfortable. 
extremely comfortable. You get used to it. Not. Extremely, <laughs> very comfortable, very comfortable. Well, some people complain. Yes. But honestly, we advise, we advise them that keep using it. We yeah, but at it. what age should people begin to sleep on orthopedic? Even as young as as possible. You must not allow the pain to start before you start sleeping on mattresses that are firm. We are not strictly the orthopedic. But we don't want a situation where when you sleep on the mattress, it depresses and takes the shape of your body. Sure body. Uh, yeah. That is discouraged as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then, um, uh, 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 then uh, even as we have orthopedic mattresses, there are chairs that are designed, we call them also call them orthopedic chairs actually, mm -hmm. that when you sit, it takes that position that you want your back to remain. Then we also advise not to lift heavy objects. Mm -hmm. If you must lift heavy objects, there are ways you you don't lift with, your, with all the strain on your back. You, you flex your hip, flex your knee, and lift the objects. Mm. Uh -huh. Then uh, we advise you to stop even prolonged standing. I mean, you are prolonged standing. So you don't sit for too long, you don't stand for too long. So you just have to you modify. Must you must be, yes, modify your way of life. And you'll be surprised, with, even without drugs, this pain will, 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 will be corrected. Mm. So at what point do we do surgery for back? Uh -huh. One surgery is indicated when that there is an emergency when the blood a loss of uh, control of the blood and feces in that uh, syndrome I just described the cardiac equality syndrome. You must do surgery. You must go and decompress. And then in those whose pain is now retract, re retractile, whereby even with analgesics, with all this modification of uh, lifestyle, with all these um, uh, preventive measures I've tried to list, uh, the pain is still there. Now, MRIs confirm that there is severe compression on a nerve. You must go and decompress. Okay. So, and then in those with multi-level multi affectation, there are those with multi-level affectation where, uh, you know, not just one point is affected. Uh, even you may have to identify the most affected and then uh, address by way of surgery. Uh, basically, these are the people that benefit from surgery. Mm. Those with emergencies, those that have lost control of their limbs, those that have lost control of their feces and, and, uh, and um, urine because of the compression, you have to go and decompress. You don't delay. You don't delay. And those whose symptoms are now in track, you know, no longer responsive to the conventional treatment that we prescribe, are potential candidates for surgery. Wow. Very interesting, Dr. Anthony. Uh, of course, uh, the program is stopping medical tourism, and from what uh, we have uh, been hearing from uh, the orthopedic consultant, orthopedic surgeon, is that back pain can lead to many other uh, issues like uh, knee problem, like uh, uh, you also have problem with the knee. It can also lead to paralysis. You can even have difficulty in controlling uh, your urine. And so what do we do? We need to find our way. If you have any of these uh, symptoms, we need to check it out. Uh, it may just be one of those issues that may uh, be bothering you in life. So we need to take our time to find out how uh, we can actually diagnose this and ascertain the actual cause. Even the way you see it, I mean, it's fun for you to just sit that way or this way. Uh, it's fun, but you may just uh, going to have yourself to be blamed at the end of the day. So you sit up just like I am sitting. Now, when it comes to the issue of, of uh, treatment, many people travel abroad to have some of these surgeries that you have mentioned done. Some go to India, Egypt, of course, uh, UK, uh, and the US, depending on the person's uh, level of income at this uh, disposal. Is it done here? Yes, these surgeries are done here. Um, in Alliance Hospital, for instance, where I work, we, we do, I don't want to exaggerate, mm. average of one spine surgery per week. Mm. Sometimes we do two, but when you want, when you want now we want to spread it averagely, at least one spine surgery per week. Mm. And um, of various types, we do straight decompression, we do mm. decompression with stabilization and all, and all that. And the result has been excellent. Wow. So, it's, uh, the success story is 90, 99, 100%. Uh, <laughs> without blowing my trumpet, it's 100%. There yeah, are, but there's no complications that warrant, oh, mm. they do well with good results. Mm. 
Mm. What about the, the disc uh, issue? Many people have issue with the disc, and yes, they, the, the they disc, also jet out to have uh, it done. Uh -huh, the, okay, the disc could be collapsed. Okay, could be yes, could be uh, uh, could be collapsed. Could be uh, could be this hyenation mm. or this sequestration. These mm. are the conditions that happen to the disc. Mm. Now, if it's collapsed. Uh, is that is in I, I've mentioned this in uh, the degree of I mean mm -hmm. going by level of se severity. Mm -hmm. If it's just mere prolapse mm -hmm. with the physiotherapy modification of activities, uh, it may get corrected. But if it's mm -hmm. hyenating, mm -hmm. if it's hyenating and compressing on the cord, you may need to uh, do 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 a disectomy. It's a form of surgery. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Dissect the, the I mean uh, uh, remove the pressure from the cord. Same thing goes for the if it's, um, the, the disc is sequestered. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So these are the surgeries on the disc are also done. Apart from the surgeries on the bone, you know, between the bone is the disc. So it could be a disc problem which can be sorted out surgically. Could be the bone problem compressing on the nerve. It can also be decompressed surgically. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, but uh, you know the thing is with the cost uh, for those that decide maybe after watching as okay rather than use my naira buy dollar travel abroad let me just do it here in 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 nigeria mm. how much would they be saving in terms of percentage okay now uh oh it has a percentage mm -hmm. of course the cost of even flying down <laughs> to wherever you want to go mm. is, is is huge and then um after surgery you need follow-up and then that will be amount you going back there again. Mm -hmm. When you look at all this in, in put together, mm -hmm. you are going to save a lot of money if you decide to do it in Nigeria. We have experts that do these surgeries mm -hmm. successfully. Mm -hmm. So it, it is, it is, it is and Alas also does it. I, I said at least averagely of one so, so spine so, surgery per week. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There are weeks we do two, but at least one per week mm -hmm. without uh, exaggerating. Yeah, our time is flying fast, but let's get what your position is concerning people that self-medicate mm -hmm. due to back pain, uh, people that uh, patronize the abu sellers, you know, those people, ladies that hawk yes. different, you know, combination, and they tell you, yes, it's working. Just, mm -hmm. uh, and you see those that you know, mm -hmm. you won't be marketing them and say, I, I took it, it worked. So... Yes. Um, yes. You see, the, the truth is, the, the herbal concussions, you don't know what they have put together. We've, under, we've come to realize some even decide to use the same orthodox drugs we give to patients, you know, dissolve into their herbal concussion and deliver to it. And then these drugs has their side effects. In fact, when we give patients drugs, we tell them strictly that these drugs is meant to control your pain, not to cure your pain. To control your pain, not to what to cure your pain is your activities, basically how you modify. So, when there is no pain, please don't take this drug because of its side effects, particularly on the kidneys, the intestine, and all that. So, uh, we, we it, based on that, if an individual now decide to be smart and empty these drugs in a container, add some other stuff, and sell to people, you can imagine that such people taking it, uh, drinking or uh, taking high quantity of these agents. The, especially the non steroid anti-inflammatory agents, you know, and uh, it not in, 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 in high doses that are not moderated, this could actually affect their kidney. So we want to advise them, that no, please, no. one, get to the hospital, know the cost of your pain, get to the hospital, get advice, and then take the drug as prescribed. It's not a drug you depend on too long. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Anthony Amadou, uh, for your time those on the program this morning. Mm -hmm. Anthony Amadou is Dr. Anthony Amadou is a consultant orthopedic surgeon uh, from Alliance Hospital. And at this point, I say thank you so much to Alliance for uh, supporting us with your human resource to come talk about some of these issues. You know, it's difficult to really get you know resource persons come on air and just deliver you know so thank you so much okay. uh, dr amodu thank you uh, alliance okay this will wrap up today's edition of the program stopping medical tourism i'm joseph kadri same time same station next week will be here have a nice day thank you sir.